Aloha, it's me, Heidi, at the Creative Makerathon. Thank you so much, Ashley and Ashley, for putting this together, and I'm looking forward to making this fun little carrot project with you all today. And you got it, it's made out of popsicle sticks. So what you'll need to make this are popsicle sticks, orange craft paint, orange ribbon, green jute ribbon, raffia, and a little stuffed bunny. All these items came from the dollar store. Your tools are aluminum foil, a foam paintbrush, a mixing palette, glue gun and sticks, and a pair of scissors. Let's get started. So I group my popsicle sticks together in groups of seven, which is how many I need for each layer. Watered down my orange paint and quick coating them on each side. Now, if you want to keep somebody busy, don't tell them this secret. <laughs> Let them paint one, one popsicle stick at a time. So, turning over and we will paint the second side. Watering the paint down makes it work more like a stain. So you get to see that great texture from the wood instead of saturating it with the heavy acrylic paint. On this piece of cardboard here, I trace the outline of my carrot and Let's get started putting it down. Now, if your popsicle sticks are still a little wet, the glue might have a little trouble sticking, so you might want to wait and let that dry some more. In creating the tip, you always want to repeat right and left. So I mark that with one and two, so you always have the sides right in your sequence. And then here we're going to add a number three, which will be the shelf that you can rest your bunny on. And we're only going to do that for two layers. Another important thing that you want to make sure of is that you are not caving in or out, that they are really stacked directly above each other so that it maintains the shape. Now we can go ahead and paint the edges. Yes, isn't it so much faster than painting them one by one? The first time I made this, I did do one by one, took forever. So this is a much faster way of getting it done. Next, we'll take our narrow orange ribbon and we're gonna glue that along the outer edge. This is definitely optional. I just thought it gave it a clean finish. So we'll secure it at the top and go around in each corner I'm going to add a little glue and put some tension on it so it lays nice and flat. And we'll just cut that off. Wait, let's fix that buckle there. And we'll cut that excess off. And done. Okay, next comes our green. And this is a two inch jute wired edge ribbon, also from the dollar store. I have a lot of this in my stash. It's one of my favorite ribbons. And we're just gonna make three loops, a small loop, a tall loop, and another small loop, and we'll cut that off. Using a piece of raffia, we're gonna bundle that up. So we have a nice, firm stock for our greens. Now I'm gonna go in and glue the loops to make sure that they don't slip out on me. If you don't like tying with raffia, you could always bundle that up with wire 
and or a tie wrap and go back and cover it with some raffia. So these are our greens. We're gonna add some more glue here across the top and press that firmly down. The ribbon is wider than the carrot, so I'm gonna squish that together so it doesn't stand over and the ends will hang off the side. Fluff that up a bit and that's done. Next, we're gonna put a hanger on there. Just slip a piece of raffia that I've looped through the back layer of popsicle stick. And once I have that through, I will pull the ends through the loop and then pull it tight and we have a hanger. So, one more bow. Now I start my bows this way. I make like a shirt collar or awareness ribbon. Lay that, press down the back, and look, already I have two loops. Then I'm gonna add my second set of loops, making sure they're about the same size, and that's done. Super easy. Again, using a piece of raffia, but you can by choice use wire or a tie wrap to do this. I'm making a loop like before, pulling the ends through and snugging that up to tighten the center of my ribbon. I'll secure that again with a dab of glue. And now we'll glue it in place. You can cut the ends on an angle in a V, whatever floats your boat. I'm gonna trim these away or you can leave them, that's up to you. You could also add some more to give it a little more of a, a wild carrot look. Now I have two options on how I can glue my bunny in here. I can just glue him on the bottom tip and use that shelf to support his back. Or we can sit him on that shelf. And I think for this time, we'll sit him on the shelf. So let's put glue across that shelf. Press the leg down and now we can figure out where else we need glue. So glue that other leg. And last but not least, we'll glue the head in place. And that was it. So this is a project that you can complete in about 25 to 30 minutes with not much experience in crafting. And you can hang it, you can lay it, whatever works best for your decor. I wanted to thank you so much for joining me today. And if you have any questions, be sure to post them below. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. See you again with my next project. And until then, stay safe and healthy. Aloha.